Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17 um, Another Let's Play series with Beaver Creek Seasons by Stevie I'm not going to use Seasons Typical reason I'm not going to use any mods apart from what came with the map Which I'm going to show you in a minute and Obviously I'm yo-yo £20,000 on normal and it is the 30th of the 5th 2018 Which is today, 36 minutes played on the map That's pretty much just to get my equipment swapped out and get the things how I, how I like it so we're going to do Beaver Creek. I've got um, only the official DLC, so I've got the Big Bud Pack, the Coon Pack, the Platinum Expansion Pack, and the Rover Pack, which you can all purchase on Steam. So these are the official Giants DLCs. Obviously, the map itself, Beaver Creek Seasons by Stevie. I'm not going to be using Seasons. I'm not going to be using Chop Straw or Class or none of these mods follow me I love but I'm not going to use that either John Deere's I'm not going to use those this one here the Kote Universal Pack that is the only mod that I am going to be playing with on this map now the only reason I've got the Kote Universal Pack is because this one comes with the map the Beaver Creek Garrett Multi TSA but for some reason it does not work so I've gone with the Kota Universal Pack, which I do believe is pretty much the same thing. I could well be wrong, but that's what we're going to do anyway. So starting on normal, £20,000. I've gone in and uh, modded the save game a little bit because we always start with a loan, £75,000. I don't understand why, so I've zeroed that out. I've given myself back £20,000 after I've sold everything and got the equipment that I want and it's also going to be a bit of a challenge on this map as well which you will see in a minute so here we are this is our house um, and for those of you that know stevie's maps will know what sort of things to be expected i've played plains and simple so everything's good to me so this is your farm this is plenty of storage spaces um you've got like uh, seed mixers seed making machines so we've got all the seeds over here and fertilizer and liquid fertilizer all just here so we've got liquid uh, solid fertilizer and seeds we have diesel which is empty but you can get it out of this orange thing if you wish to pay for it but if you do get some diesel you can just top it up in here whiz around here and get it out of here and then you get it for free but obviously you've got to get your diesel first and put it in the yellow tanker just inside the building as you can see it's zero so I don't have anything in there fertilizer we start with 30,000 which is generous that's a solid fertilizer we've got seeds also 30,000 which is also good it's this vehicle shop this is here where you can modify your vehicles over there all your potato washers and potato steamers I've never actually used those before, but that would be interesting if we can get them in. Slurry, uh, digestate, I think, or digestate and slurry. Your fill ups here for your uh, seeds and fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. There's your seed making machine, seed master. We've got the silos over here. There's the, the animals, they're over this way somewhere, they're over there across the bridge. We'll get a tractor and we'll have a look at those in a second. Let's have a look in our silo then. Because I've got no mods, I'm just running that normal game speed. Over there is where you sell your hay in that building there, so you can go in there and sell your hay and grass and straw. Here is the silos. As you can see, I have given myself 30,000 litres of everything. And you're probably thinking, well, I've given myself 30,000 litres of everything. 20 grand start, that's a nice easy start. Um, it's not that quite of an easier start simply because if we go over here to our equipment, and this is all of our equipment, so first off we've got a small tiffer, which I'm going to use for the animals, a water tanker, also going to use for the animals. Just here I have a small vent, which is a 300 series with the front loaders on, that's going to be used for the uh, animals. This is only, what, 110 horsepower, so it's not going to be much cop for ploughing, seeding, or cultivating, picking up anything. 
it's just basically just going to be the farm tractor with the trailer and the walk tanker just here I have a man truck and a tiffer so this is the 59,000 cam plate this is the one thing I did keep from the uh, Stevie's uh, equipment list so I've kept this and I've got the man truck okay the standard in-game ones obviously no mods and I swapped out the Homer half set of the sugar beet with the Roper Tiger XL and I have used this when the DLC first came out but I've not actually used it in a Let's Play series it's just like you know, I just got it and messed around with it and of course my regular harvester here with the biggest head it's also the biggest harvester in the game as well capacity of uh, 14 and a half thousand litres and a 45 foot head so in a nutshell that is all of my equipment the harvester, the header, the roper and its header for the beats the man truck and the tiffer I've got the fence tractor at the back there with the front loader and the bucket a little tiffer for the animals and a water tank that is all I have and if we just look in our garage I also have the uh, wind turbine which Stevie covers as well we'll get to that so we've got the fence tractor 300 only 110 horsepower so not much cop and it's got the old uh, front loader and the bucket the man truck which is not bad it's 480 horsepower just your regular lorry pretty much got the harvester which can hold 14 and a half thousand litres and all of this lot and the header which is 13.7 meters long i do believe it. i don't think it's the longest header but it's the header that goes with the thing the, the harvester the trailer for the header to transport around with small tiffer for the animals the big tiffer for collecting out the fields the combine uh, combine harvester the wind turbine which gives us a thousand pounds an hour so that is a bit of our income to pay for all the uh maintenance costs if you can look at the maintenance cost of this roper it's 1700 pounds a day so that's two hours of that is going to pay for this with the header as well so yeah we've got the roper 768 horsepower and this can hold 43,000 litres and only does sugar beet we've got the trailer for the header so that's all the roper collection there and of course we've got this the only mod pack that I've got in here is the the Koto Universal one, a little water tank, 10,000 litres, and it can carry. I'm going to use mainly for water, but it can do fuel, milk, uh, slurry, uh, digestate, and liquid fertiliser. So that is it. That is my starting equipment. So I've got no big tractor, no ploughs, no cultivators, no uh, fertilisers, no seeders. And I'm certainly going to need another tractor to even run that equipment because, like I say, this is only 110 horsepower. It's not going to be enough to do seeders and ploughing and, and things like that. It's going to be not enough guts in that. So, first off, we're going to have to show you the map quickly. So, you can see this is the map. I've not fiddled with it. You still got 16 here, which is grass field. You've got a uh, field one, which I do believe is barley. Field 6, which I believe is soybeans, and of course, field 5 is sugar beet. And if we go across, obviously, we've got some extra uh, stuff here, regular to regular game, which is in these fields here. We'll get into them a bit later on. You see the growth state, everything here. Field 1 is going to need tartings, that's in its last orange stage. Field 6 is going to need after that because that's in the middle orange stage, so it's not too. Too bad, but this one definitely needs doing first. And of course, number five, you remove tops, that's going to be for our sugar beets. So let's get these two fields here, one and five, started on the old harvesting. So let's uh, get into this and start this bad boy up. And that's field one straight in front of us. The only problem is, is how do I get to it? Like I say, I've only done half an hour on this map, it's pretty much just getting this equipment from shop to here so I've not had a, a much of a look round the gate there can we get through the gate ah do we have to get out let's have a look 
Ah, oh, look, there we go. So they're not automatic gates, you've got to get out and open them then. It's fine, it's not a problem, even better. And let's stick this harvester with a header. Just over here, I think. Yeah, let's stick that just there. And let's uh, get it attached, and then we can get this field rolling. Beautiful. So I don't know if the, how well they will do on these fields, but let's do it anyway. So the halves are going to need unfolding. Does the header need unfolding as well? It probably does, I think. It probably does. And let's start the old bad boy up. Oh, pressed the wrong button need to fold up the tool head okay, so let's do that then so uh, there we go there we go right we're going to hire our worker for this one then we've got other bits and pieces to go on we've got to get that sugar beet done so we'll get this lined up just like so and let's uh, make sure we've got the old we've got the straw on yeah we've got the straw on so that's another thing we need to find. We need to plow a bigger track when I pick the rubber loading wagon. Straw. Okay, so let's uh, get this our boy up to the sugar field. Now how do we get to the sugar field? The same way. Through the gate and then just turn left up to the field. Okay, right, goody goody. And once we get these going, we'll come back and start feeding the animals. So just up here. And here we are. This is sugar beet. Um, let's uh, put that head there, trail up, and then let's get the head attached. It should do the trick. So it does. Is this a head I need unfolding? Beastie old field, a bit hilly, hilly as well, not like planes and simple that I've been playing on, that's uh, quite flat. <laughs> so, um, oh, we actually need to unfold things, don't we? It's, uh, Good to roll now. Oh, I do you believe we are? Yeah, look at that. Let's get a worker on that then. Alright, so while they're doing the fields, let's go and see our animals and get them all fed and watered and whatnots. do suffer a little different frames around here, I think it may be because there's a lot of stuff on this farm. So let's uh, look the tiffer up first, let's go and get some, uh, let's have a look, let's have a look at our animals. 
Okay, so we've got 10 of each, obviously, which is what we normally start with on Stevie and Matt. So we need everything. So we're going to need sheep, we're going to need water, and oh, this green grass or hay. Grass. I'm normally giving grass. Yeah, grass, yeah, and grass. Fig feed should do all of this. It should no problem just water and straw. And the same with the cows. Okay, right, let's go and get these sheep sorted out first, then, I think. So let's uh, take the cover off and let's get some grass in there. So we want some grass. Grass, so you can take half of this is a 15 pound a litre trailer. So start off with 30,000, I've used half of it already. sheep. See if we brought the animals are over this way but I think there's a little bridge over here. There's our house. Yeah look over this little bridge here. There's a sheep over in this corner. This could be the sheep, yeah, so I think that's where, where we buy our, or get our wool. Um, okay, so that's full, so that's that them sorted out, so you need... Here's the pigs. So we've got the sheep here pigs there and the cows are just behind the pigs so they're all pretty much together which is good these are the old pig making machines look pig food so you put in potatoes sunflower and corn or you can put canola and things like that we'll get to that a bit later and there's a cow mixing food the power can be the grass silage and straw and a gold nugget on the top Okay, so the cows might need some grass. I'll put some grass in here. Just a little bit. And this silo here, you can put... Do that now, look. Put a bit of grass in here. We get silage. So if we, uh, oops, tip this into there. See the numbers go up. So we're gonna have like 5,966 litres of silage when uh, that's fermented. Right, let's go and get um, some cow food then. Some, and silage as well, and silage and the power mix. Um, right this way. So I don't really know the map too well. I had a quick little look around on it and that was it. I'm not even in the right place. See, but I'm lost now, back with the cow, uh, sheep. The bridge, where's the bridge? There's a bridge, there's our water just there. Let's just get the old animals fed. just over here so we need some TMR total mix rations uh, total mix rations there we go total mix rations let's get some of that what we don't use we can always put back Of the animals, we'll soon get to know this farm. We'll be busy around it in no time. Cows are just here. 
I do believe that the total mix ration is somewhere else, if it's silage in there, don't we? Put it in there, I do believe. Water. I'm not getting a trigger here, I'm not getting a trigger. Here we go in sideways, let's have a look. Sideways. Hmm. No trigger. Very odd, isn't it? Oh, I see something then. There we go. Get a temperamental trigger on that one. Well, they gobbled all that up, didn't they? Well, that's how the animal's doing now, there's the cows are sort of only water and straw, yep. Okay, do the pigs, they need water, yep, so we're all good. So let's get the pigs power food. Have to do a lot of grass mowing on this as well. So we can keep the grass going and the um, silage. That's pretty much cows. Cows are pretty much different kind of recipes for grass silage is grass, fermented, grass, hay, straw alright let's get some uh, big food so we've got total mixed ration, chaff, wood chip, silage, big food I wonder if the pigs will need all of that let's just jump round and have a look have a gold nugget there I'll just see on the side. Not in a rush to pick them up. The map is distracting with all the rings, so I well, even when I've got pretty much handled the map on the way round I know I picked up one gold nugget earlier by accident. Alright so the pigs, 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 pigs. I do believe the pigs were just over here opposite the sheep. We fully deliver the pigs. Yay, 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 yay. Let's see what the trigger's like for this one then. The trigger's just there. Oh, they didn't eat all of that, so they're good for six days there. I have to get them some straw and water. So let's get the straw and let's take the cows and the pigs all the straw. Now we're going to get the water and um, give them all some water. Obviously you get the water just here, look, out of this little fountain. And it's free. It's not like some of the places where you've got to pay for the water out of the fountain, that one is actually free. But it is on planes and super anyway, so I hope it is here. If it ain't, it ain't. It is what it is. See, my money's going down, look, 19,000, that's for wages for the two people that are harvesting the fields. But at 8 o'clock, you get a thousand pounds from the wind turbine. Let's put this back in here. Leave that, leave that, have that laid up. Let's reverse it up a little bit and uh, get some straw.
Um, straw, grass, hay, oats, blah 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 blah. So you got your washed potatoes and steamed potatoes. There's, there's some straw there. Look. Let's go and give some of these to the cows and some to the pigs, and then we'll get them all watered, and that'll be the animals sorted for six days. I'm going to pick that nugget up and it's doing me nothing. Can't even get to it. Alright, let's get this straw to the cows and pigs. And then we'll get them watered. And that's the animal sorted. What we've got here looks like we put manure and water and compost. Don't know what this does, so we'll have to check that out at some point. Once we get some compost, we can go a bit, a bit off of that in a minute. Right, the cows, just here. There's the milk. So we get that out of there. How do we give the cows any silage? Uh, tip. So you can see all the hay. Straw, sorry, going there for bedding, so they're good for six days. A bit of straw left over for the piggies. Let's go and see the piggies over here. And then we'll get these watered. Let's go in the other way because we're going to get stuck otherwise, aren't we? They're good, so food and straw is good for six days. Let's go and get some water. Water out of there. Let's go and dump this and uh, bring our uh, water tanker over. And what I'll leave is actually open with the animals because the animals are all up across the bridge in one area, so that's good. Goody, goody, good. Let's dump this in here. Bish, bash, bosh. Right, let's go and dump this trade around the animals and then come back and get that tanker. And then we're going to see how the harvest is getting on because I want the truck to go over and start emptying them out. I'm not seeing anything come up yet saying, uh, cool. Oh, Yet. Well, right, where should we park up these, uh, this little tipper? Do we have any storage anywhere? Oh, there's some storage over there, let's put it over there. Good bit of reversing from the uh, Euro Truck Simulator experience. Right, let's go and get the water tanker, get them all watered, and that's the animals sorted. Don't have to worry about them for a little while. Hang on, are we lost again? Yeah, we're lost again. I will get my used to around this map. What I'll do, I'll get the water tank and I'll leave that over there as well next to the uh, tipper so we'll get all the animal bits all together. Sort it. Alright, let's go and get the water then. So that water's free, like it was in plain and simple. It was a good map, but lots of hours on planes and simple. It does get a little hectic at times when there's a lot to do. 
animals to look after, fields to harvest, things to fertilise. A lot more to do than a regular map, like mill house, what I'm doing, and Broxton as well, what I'm doing. So let's uh, get this tanger here, let's uh, fill it up. Bad little tractor, bent. Yeah, how much does this tanker hold? 10,000 litres, I think. A bit halfway. About 10,000 litres. Nearly there. Yeah, so we're going to get lawnmowers. Flour, cedar, fertilizer. All this with 19 grand in the bank now, because I'm paying out wages. But not to worry, it'll all come together, trust me. Alright, let's uh, water the pigs and sheep and see how we get on. Six days. Oh, there's the sheep. And they're good for six days now. Let's go and do the cows, and then that's the animals all done and dusted. Bish bash bosh. And we can see how they're getting on with the fields. Might have to sell a truckload, store a truckload, sell a truckload, store a truckload, so we can get some money and also stuff in the silo as well. We need some of these things for big mixing machines. We need a lawnmower, so. Get cracking with the cow feeding stuff because it's just predominantly grass. Let's see. Cows tend to drink a lot, so I'll take it because we use quite a lot of this, I would have thought. We need the water in here because not generally use that for anything else. Right. Let's park this next to the tip up. Beautiful. And we'll park this just up here. So that's the animals all fed, bedded, and watered for six days. So they're all done and dusted. So I think we'll call that episode one sorting the animals. And next time we'll see what we can do with these fields. So we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.